Good morning. Um, here I am again trying to fulfill my purpose of life. And uh, I talked to my students in the beginning of the year. What is the purpose of life? And oftentimes they say, well, the purpose of life, and after they talk to their family and they communicate with their family, they all come to the conclusion, or many, at least half of the kids will come to the conclusion that happiness is a purpose of life. So um, I say, okay, if that's the purpose of life, then when you're sad, you're not fulfilling your life's purpose. Then what are you doing when you're sad? And no one seems to know the answer. They just say, well, or maybe they do. They just kind of realize or recognize that if happiness isn't the purpose of life, then what is? So they keep pondering, pondering. Uh, but anyways, my purpose of life, part of it is fulfilled by being on YouTube um, in some way, shape, or form. So uh, this is the box you will get these Bao Ding balls from. Uh, they always have these little fancy little cloth covered boxes. And I think I paid like about four dollars for this at Oakland Chinatown. Uh, I mean, it's kind of cool the way it comes. I'm sorry. It goes like that. And then it has like these two little inset parts that the balls sit, just sit in. Now, the bigger the Bao Ding ball is, the bigger the box will have to be. So this won't fit in this box, but I don't have that box anymore. I don't know where it went. But there's smaller sized, and this is like a panda cloison, I guess. I don't know what kind of, it's just re really iridescent blue paint. Um, but it doesn't feel like paint. It feels like it's varnished something. So I don't know if it's kiln fired or something, but it's really pretty. And this is a red one. And you can see the, like, that it might be some kind of um, enamel, like a red enamel. And there's these little copper uh, accents. So I think it's like, I don't think it's just paint, it's like heated on there. And I can't believe I get these for like less than $4 at Oakland Chinatown. But you buy them online if you can't get to the Chinatown for like $10. They come in jade, stone, and uh, all kinds of different things, right? So my hands are smaller, so I prefer the smaller ones. These are bigger and I felt like it'd be nice to have them to exercise with, but that's way more comfortable. These are like golf ball size, and these are just slightly larger. And I don't know what to compare that to. Like, I don't know. They're just about a quarter inch in diameter larger. Then this is the basic chrome version. It's got an MC Escher look to it because you can see yourself like a Christmas ornament. Okay. Um, but even those have the larger version, of course. And that's even a quarter inch in diameter larger than this one. So this one must be a medium and this one must be a large. And then I know there's a jumbo one that's like that big, but um, some of the things I guess you could do is do off sizing. If you're interested in that, you could have like, if you have two sets, you could do a big one and a little one. Cause this one, this chrome one is exactly this size. So, um, one thing is this is colder. This is warmer on a cold day like today. Uh, it doesn't really feel the same either, but if you have the official Bao Ding balls, they have one chime that's high and to balance it, one that is low. So you hear that. And it's the same with this case too. That's low. That's supposed to be higher. So, uh, they come in different types of styles. There's some with dragon and a phoenix designs. This one's two panda bears sitting symmetrically across from a bamboo plant. And so is that, because we like pandas, who doesn't? So, and then I found this, I said, uh, I showed in another video, but I hot glued the bottom because it was open here. This was uh, off the top of a bathroom etage piece of furniture. And it was this, I said, okay, I'm throwing the etage away. It got all rusty. So I start unscrewing these and saying, hey, these are nice and heavy. They're heavier than the ones that you can buy the bowding balls that you could buy, but you could use round objects at home if they have enough heft to them. Uh, this is about triple the weight of this because this is hollow 
and this has a lot more material or mass to it. So uh, that's my uh, uh, general introduction. Now, if you were going to use them, uh, you would, for some people, they just roll them together like this. That's foundational. This is just a stress relie reliever type fidget ball if you don't, I mean, but they will scuff up if you do that, I guess, over time. If you do it where you just go like this, like that and rub them together. I don't really need to rub them together. It doesn't feel comfortable for them to be rubbed together, so I prefer them to be separated. And it's a, to me, it's more of a practice of finger dexterity to separate them as you uh, rotate them or fidget with them. Then you can go in one direction and then you alternate to the other direction. Uh, it's good for your circulation. Um, and the history behind this is that uh, Chinese military back in the old days would uh, have nothing to do, so they'd do this with walnuts. And then so they figured, hey, let's, this is pretty handy. Uh, let's, you know, make fancier versions and stuff like that. So they sell them in jade, in stone, uh, in different uh, enamels or cloison style. Uh, and they're very inexpensive on the internet. Like I've seen them for like $10. Uh, so get yourself a pair. Uh, my challenge is more to try different ways of doing it. Like you could do it this way, but that's easy. So challenge yourself and go slightly vertical trajectory or even go upside down or go this way. And then you can move your hand rhythmically then your whole hand gets a uh, exercise. It's like if you got nothing better to do, then you can do that. Okay. Now, if you're a beginner, you might want to try putting water in your hand. Well, that's a lot of water. It's okay. So if your hand is wet, then the tricks become way easier. Plus you're washing these <laughs> if you got sweat on them or whatever. Okay, there's something about, I guess, the cohesion aspect of water or the adhesion aspect of uh, uh, water molecules can actually allow you to go completely upside down. Uh, these might be a little big. Let's try these. Yeah, I'm out of practice. Oh, and another way you could do it is by going like this, because if you go like that, then at the time when the ball wants to fall, you actually give it an upward boost. Then you can go upside down on it. So, that's some... Um, other ways you could practice with this, but you could be creative. And, you know, if you end up buying them, uh, comment below, I guess. That would be fun to see if anybody actually, by watching this, decides they're going to try it out. So, thank you.